Uh, tell me a bit about uh, you know your big boss, uh, Mr. David Cameron. Uh, you know he's uh, he's tried in the last five years very hard to reach out to the Asian community, to be seen, to be doing a lot of things in building kind of the India UK relationship. And uh, and and a lot of people say that this is a very strategic move because in 2010 only 16 percent of people from the Asian community voted Conservative, whereas uh, more than 60 percent voted for the Labour Party. We don't know the figures uh, this time around as yet, but uh, but is there an attempt you think? Uh, by led by Mr. Cameron and his his party to reach out to the Asian community in the UK. Uh, well, I, I think he he has a clear commitment to you know people from all different communities and and you know of though that sixteen percent number referred to people from all different types of minority background. Actually, for for Indians, for example, the number was twenty four percent. Yes, it's already doing you know much better, and I'm sure the results this time around will show huge improvement on that. And look, I think he's very committed to India, and he's uh, you've seen that in the manifesto. One of the few countries that was singled out was India, where he said, you know, we want to build on our very strong relationship with India. We are going to push for an EU-India trade deal, which is excellent news, and I'm excited about that, and also support India's, um, you know, aspirations to have a permanent seat on the UN Security Council. And if you look at the manifesto, there aren't many other countries that get that kind of mention. So I think you can see how important it is to him. He's obviously made several trips to India. Uh, we recently had the unveiling of the Gandhi statue in Parliament Square. And yeah, he's been very engaged in the community. And I think he finds it's a community where you know, the, the values uh, of you know families like mine resonate with the values of the Conservative Party. Your uh, father-in-law is obviously uh, Narayan Murthy. Everyone, uh, he's a household name in India. Uh, tell me, uh, Rishi, when you uh, told your, you know, when you when you told him about your decision to get into politics, what what was his reaction? Uh, he he was excited. Uh, yeah. He was very excited, and he uh, he's been incredibly supportive. I mean, I'm very fortunate, you know, to have someone like him as uh, you know as family. Uh, I get to benefit from you know his guidance, his advice and uh, you know that's quite special uh, you know to have that and to have his support so um, you know I, I feel very I feel very fortunate really I, I mean it's obviously very intimidating as well yeah. so uh, there's that as well but um, yeah I uh, you know that net, 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 net is a huge benefit and he's been here the past few days uh, with all of us and you know to come and support me which was very special and lovely to have him here so okay and do you sort of have these coffee table conversations with him saying that uh, what should I do about this what should I do about that I mean do you and what kind of advice does he give you? Yeah, I, I, of course. I mean, of course we do. We talk about it a lot. And yeah, no, and, and he gives me great advice. And I think that you're probably more used to hearing it than, than I am because he's, uh, as you said, he, he's, uh, you know, well well respected and listened to in India. And, and it's the same advice that he has for me. You know, it's just, you know, live your life with integrity, you know, try and do the right thing. And uh, one of my favorite quotes of his is, um, yeah, every, uh, in, in God we trust, but everyone else needs to bring data to the table. And it's something that I try and live by as well. Well, so, you know, I, I'm always interested in getting the data and getting the facts, you know, before coming to a firm conclusion. And as I said, always is trying to do the right thing.